So with this home, we wanted to create a very warm, natural atmosphere with all the materials, with all the finishes and textures working together to create really harmony inside the house and even making the connection from the exterior, from the architecture, all the way to the small details. The design of this home is a testament to how well thought out finishes and meticulous attention to detail can come together to create a space that not only looks beautiful, but also feels warm and comfortable. The architectural lines, natural stone selection, and the design palette of this home really sets itself apart from others. So without further ado, welcome to Bel Air and let's go have a look inside. The architecture of this home is really unique. On the first floor, we have these vertical board form concrete walls transitioning to the second floor. And on the second floor, you can see these beautiful vertical metal screens giving the house this stark feeling. Now this house sits on a really wide lot. That's why we have a lot of street frontage, but the way this house is designed really gives a ton of privacy to the interior of the home. Now coming here, we have this gate opening up to the cobblestone driveway, and this driveway leads us down to the subterranean garage, which we'll see later in the tour. I love the space. You can see the vertical board from concrete walls also here, partially covered section above with these steel beams, and this opening casts this beautiful light on the board from concrete walls. That glass opening right there is the office, which we're also gonna check out in a bit. And yeah, this is the driveway and basically the walkway that takes you to the front door. You can see some of the natural stone textures here, travertine walls, beautiful steps, easy access to your main patio and the infinity edge pool. And coming right here to set the tone for this house, we have this beautiful water feature Steps are nicely integrated. And as I go to the other side, we have the front door here. I mean, look at this beautiful design, solid wood, picture windows on each side, and come on in. Now, I really like the entry of this property because we have beautiful wood plank ceilings. They brought those travertine walls to the interior, so the design feels very cohesive. Beautiful oak paneling on this side, and this hallway takes us to the main seating area, living room, dining area. But before we go to this section, I wanna start our tour with the office. I really like the design of this room. Desk in the center, built-ins on the back with LED lighting, chandelier above, beautiful warm tones. And coming to this side, we have a seating area, massive picture window facing the cobblestone driveway. And it is this beautiful architectural opening that faces the cover section and brings ton of natural light to the office. Now. On the other side, we have a full bathroom, oak cabinetry, travertine finishes throughout, and we have the water closet at the end. Really nice bathroom. Now, one more detail, actually two. We have the connections here for your future TV that you can hang on the wall, and there's this picture window facing the living room. That way, this room can benefit from the views and the natural light coming in to the main space. Now, let's take everybody back here. I love this room. Motorized sliding glass doors open up, perfect indoor outdoor flow, and let's continue our tour with the formal living room. Minimalist seating, stunning coffee tables. I love the decor in this room or in this house. On the other side, we can see the fireplace section looks very exquisite. The use of travertine reveals patterns. This design here is very tasteful. Now, continuing our tour, we have a really nice bar here. Staircase going down to the lower level as well as the second floor. Dining area, family room, and the kitchen. But before we continue, I wanna talk about the specs of this home. So we have six bedrooms, seven full, four half baths, 13,600 square feet of interior space on the market for $38 million. And I wanna give big thanks to the development team and the listing agents, Brandon Williams, Rainey Williams, and Tyrone McKillen for making this tour possible. I'm really excited for our tour. Now, right behind me is the dining area, solid wood table, seating for eight, chandelier above, and because this section is right in the center of the main floor, you get to enjoy these amazing views, seamless transition to the outside. In fact, before we see the family room, I wanna take everybody to the patio. 
space heaters above, built-in speakers, recessed lights, glass railing. You have your outdoor dining area here and the steps taking you down to this amazing Infinity Edge pool. White plaster, incorporated jacuzzi. We have this beautiful mosaic tile around the perimeter of this pool and these amazing views. We have this hillside here, super green. It's been raining a lot lately. So we have this lush scenery, Pacific Ocean right in front of us, all the way to Catalina. And yeah, you get to live in this amazing environment. In fact, around the corner, we have the one, the biggest residential home in the United States. Obviously it sold last year. Brendan and Rainey were also the listing agent. And if you haven't seen our tour of the one, make sure to check it out. We'll leave the links in the description. So yeah, your neighbors with the one and you have these views. Now on the pool level, we have this patio, again, travertine floors, seating section, lounging area and steps, taking you back to the main level. You have the outdoor dining area here. Next to that is the bar that leads us to the side of the home outdoor kitchen, gas grill, pizza oven, outdoor staircase. And this section is really nice because you can access it from the kitchen very easily as well. Now the countertops here are missing because they're still putting the finishing touches on this home. In fact, this house at the moment, as we're shooting this tour, is still not on the market yet. It'll hit the market soon, but yeah, we're very excited for this tour. Now, behind me is the family room. But before I talk about this space, I wanna mention one more thing. Right behind the camera, is Colin. Colin is the one shooting the walkthrough today with me. Colin, say hi to everyone. Hey, how's it going everyone? Are you excited? I'm stoked. Now, even though Colin is the one shooting the tour, uh, we still have Jason and Armand shooting B-rolls. We have our editing team that's gonna put this video together, but let us know in the comment section below once you watch or finish the tour to see if Colin did a good job or not with this tour because we don't have Mikey behind the camera. I'm gonna try my best. There you go. All right, welcome to the family room. I love this L-shaped couch, two chairs, coffee table in the center, linear fireplace. Again, same materials that are also incorporated here. Travertine on the walls, oak paneling, slotted section here. Looks beautiful, very timeless. And coming here, more open shelving. Bronze shelves are beautifully incorporated. LED lighting. Design elements of this home are just beautiful. And yeah, this is the family room. Next we have the kitchen. I'm really gonna take my time to talk about the design elements here because this has to be one of the most beautiful kitchens we have ever toured on our channel. And I really mean that. It's not the biggest space, but the way this island is designed, how it frames the room, cabinetry, finishes, these exquisite details, radiuses that we're gonna see throughout, tie it all together and give you this timeless and warm feel. For the kitchen, we really wanted to create something special, something extraordinary, it's a statement piece. And it's also kind of the heart of the home. At the heart is the island. All of those different finishes come together and the different materials. There's wood in the island, there's bronze in the island, there's travertine from solid slabs creating the countertop, but there's also the fluted detail on the side. This really allows us to, to create something unique for the home. It's all tailor-made and it just fits the home completely, fits the spaces, and it allows also us to use the same materiality for those pieces that we can then use on different floors, different rooms, on the walls, and even bring stones from the outside in into the kitchen. Now, let's talk about the island first. I love these smooth corners. You can see this section here, which is slotted, fluted, read it, call it whatever you want. And on top, we can see the travertine countertops, again, following these beautiful curves, bar seating, oak cabinetry. And if you look above, you can see that cove lighting also follows the outline of the island. And they even inlay this beautiful bronze there to create some reflection and tie all these bronze elements in the kitchen together. Again, open shelving, all bronze, few cabinets or the drawers down below. Coming here, your first dishwasher, main sink, and in front of that, we have this sliding glass window opening up to a counter that faces the outdoor kitchen. So there's a nice continuity there. And when you're preparing your meals or doing a barbecue, you can basically access to the outside there easily. Now coming here, more built-ins, old Mila, and following this way, we have the main section of the base cabinets, all Mila gas cooktops, pot filler above, this custom vent, and 
I love the backsplash design here, how these walls curve beautifully. And if you look at the vent, vent also curves following the same lines. So there's this beautiful opposition between the back wall and the vent and all the colors coming together, these bronze handles. This kitchen looks absolutely gorgeous and I feel like the way it's designed and planned is really there for you to use this kitchen, use the countertops and not worry about anything. And even if you damage or spill something, it will age beautifully and it will just complement the look. Now, follow me this way, another oven, Espresso maker here and down below we have this section with travertine fronts, travertine countertop and how the stone is incorporated to the cabinetry here looks beautiful. Some open shelving above, paneled freezer and fridge and continuing this way we have more cabinetry here and the first door on my right hand side opens up to the chef's kitchen. This is an impressive space. You already have the main kitchen, but coming in here, you have a wolf gas stove, sink, another dishwasher, hood vent above, ton of cabinetry, open shelving, commercial sub-zero fridge here. And yeah, it complements the main kitchen. Now, going back to the hallway, right on the other side, we have a full bathroom. Now you may ask why we have a full bathroom here because you have a door that opens up to the side of the property that leads you to the pool area. This is your pool bathroom. That's why we have a corner shower, beautiful vanity, and a toilet that opens up as you walk into the room. Now, continuing the hallway, door at the end opens up to the laundry room, two washers, two dryers, ton of cabinetry, comes with a sink, and the last door at the end of this hallway opens up to the first bedroom. First, I gotta say, chef's kitchen and the laundry room are very impressive. Um, this is not the biggest home, but those spaces, those utility areas are very, very spacious. And then we have this bedroom here, which could be a great maze quarters, another office. And what I like about this bedroom is the fact that you have a sliding glass door here, opening up to the side, opening up to the outdoor staircase. That way you can come in and out of this bedroom without having to go through the house. Comes with a full bathroom, travertine finishes just a really nice space. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the staircase so we can talk about this section. Again, we have the staircase here, but I wanna take everybody this way so we can talk about this beautiful bar, travertine front, travertine countertops, LED lighting, curved corners. You have a small sink, fridge, ice maker here, some open shelving, more of these bronze tones, and this section just complements the main floor and the seating areas. Now, next to that, we have this stunning modern staircase. I love this stone wall that runs all the way to the second floor where we have the skylights, chandelier right in the center, and this staircase, the way it's designed, there's actually a massive metal beam that runs on the wall and carries each one of these steps. And that's how they get this floating look. And you can see how beautifully glass railing is integrated to these steps. It looks gorgeous. Even the hand railing is carved into the stone with LED lighting. This section looks gorgeous. This house is stunning. My hats off to the design team. We have Seoda and David for the design and architecture. Then we have Dieter who is the interior architect of this project. They all did a fantastic job. Every corner, every angle of this house is just so tasteful. In fact, uh, this is the third Seoda property we're touring, I believe. We toured a project designed by Seoda in Dubai, in Beverly Hills, and now this one in Bel Air. They're all beautiful, and yeah, I'm stoked to be here. Now, let's continue. We have more of these curved walls, oak paneling, and around the corner we have a door that opens up to a powder bathroom for this level, travertine vanity, elevator landing here, and now let's go to the lower level. On the upper levels we have these huge window panels, there's lots of sunlight coming in, and in the lower level we want to do something different. We want to create a little bit more a darker, moody vibe. It's a very cool, sexy atmosphere. Going to the lower level, I was looking to create an experience of an adult entertaining area. It's nice to have a big home, but if you don't use all the space, they remain empty. You give each room its uniqueness and you bring them the experience of going into each area. You have a lounge area there, you have the cinema, the bar, the spa, and this is, creates its own little world downstairs. This floor is really exciting. We have an amazing lounge here, spa, gym, bedroom at the end, 
this open wine cellar. But before we continue to this side, I actually want to take everybody this way so we can check out the subterranean garage. This is an amazing space, tiled floors, great ceiling height, mood lighting throughout. I really like how these columns create these moments or these spaces for you to feature some art, spotlights above, and this is the cobblestone driveway that we mentioned earlier. Again, natural textures, vertical board form concrete poles, and it brings you to this space. And then we have two cars here, beautiful Rolls Royce Corniche, but on the other side, we have this Lamborghini Huracan Performante, and this car looks stunning. Our team members have been talking to me, trying to influence me to get a car like this. But the issue is I don't stay in LA long enough. We travel so much that I feel like if I buy a car like this, I won't drive it enough. But yeah, this one looks beautiful. What do you think, Colin? This car is beautiful. I love the earth tones. I love the spec as well. Something about the, the flat green and these bronze rims. It's a beautiful combination. And yeah, this is a really nice car. And with that, we're done with the car gallery. Now let's go back to the landing so we can continue our tour with the lounge on the other side. Again, we have the wine cellar here, seating area. But first, let's focus on the wet bar. Table in the center, seating for four, dark mirror wall, and then we have the bar here, fridge, ice maker, some cabinets, sink, open shelving, LED lighting. Again, the same design elements that we've been seeing throughout travertine floors, and then we have the seating area here, L-shaped couch, two coffee tables, chairs on the other side, beautiful light fixture above, padded walls, curtain wall here, wine cellar on the other side. This space feels so exquisite, and the patterns, the darker tones used here give this lounge, give this room a very, very comfortable and uh, cozy feel. Now, you may think that's it for this room, it's not. Can we hit it? We have these curtains opening up to the movie theater. I love how it's incorporated into the seating area. Same carpet continues, dual elevation, comfortable seating, padded walls, wall sconces, massive screen here. Of course, you have your surround sound projector above. And I just love how they incorporated these spaces together. That way you can either have it open like this or you can close it off and have that cozy lounge section over there. Now, let's continue our tour. Back to the landing. By the way, there's another curtain here if you want to close off this section. Again, your wine cellar. Behind the staircase, we also have a powder bathroom for this level. And continuing here, travertine floors, curved corners to soften up the spaces. And the first room on our left-hand side is the gym. Rubber floors, they even brought the travertine element to the gym here, punching bag, Nice picture window facing your car gallery, so you can see your car is there. Because we're on the lower level, it's nice that you have a good size window bringing natural light. Built-in bar with a fridge, and this is your gym. Now, going to the other side, we have the spa. This is a really nice space. You have a massage table here, built-in bar, another sink, open shelving. And coming this way, really nice dressing table with a circle mirror, wall sconces. And on the other side, we have the steam room. This has to be one of the most beautiful steam rooms we have ever toured on this channel. So this is a Patagonia stone. It's a quartzite. And they hydroblasted the slabs of Patagonia to get this flat and kind of textured look. So it kind of dulls the look of the stone, but at the same time really amplifies all these textures and different color variations and the crystals that are in the stone, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's actually all book match. You have the built-in bench here, rain head above, shower head, your steam outlets, just a beautiful steam shower. Now, if you follow the sill here, they brought the same stone around this sauna. So I really appreciate how they incorporated the stone here as well. Then we have a half bathroom for the spa, Patagonia stone, oak cabinetry, travertine floors. And I gotta say, this spa is not really big, but the way it's designed and laid out and all the textures used throughout, it functions really, really well. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. Again, same floors, curved walls. Then we have this massive picture window here facing these amazing views. Now, this is a really beautiful moment in this house. 
And this opening serves two purposes. Number one, it's actually a sliding glass door that opens up to the outside. There's a staircase here that takes you to the pool. That way, from this level, you can access to the backyard very easily. Second, it brings great natural light to the landing here before you enter the bedroom that's on my right-hand side. And looking at this opening, understanding what it takes to design a space like this before it was even built and executing where the end result is this seamless sliding glass door flowing to the outside is just very impressive. That's why I love architecture. That's why I love engineering. And I love how creative people can come together, design something that's so seamless, so beautiful, and bring all these textures together. We have the functionality and the engineering working together. So this house is the combined effort of an all-star team with David, Dieter, Seota, and all of the employees that built this place. I wanted something that is timeless, that is modern, good materials that are modern but organic. And that was the design concept from the beginning. We wanted to create a very warm, natural atmosphere with all the materials, with all the finishes and textures working together to create really harmony inside the house and even making the connection from the exterior, from the architecture, all the way to the small details. All right, now let's go check out the bedroom. White oak hardwood floors, stairs bringing you down to the lower level where we have the king size bed, bedside tables, massive window bringing natural light, and Colin, guess what's above us right now? Is it the kitchen? We are right underneath the pool. Oh, really? Yes. It's pretty impressive, wow, right? Wow, that is very impressive. Yeah, we're on the hillside, so they take advantage of the elevation. But yeah, right above us is the Infinity Edge pool. And this is this really nice, cozy bedroom. Now, around the corner, we have some built-in cabinetry, door opening up to a full bathroom. Again, travertine tones, spacious walk-in shower, eggshell toilet, everything you need. And with that, we're done on the lower level. Now, let's check out the second floor. Hold that thought. At this point, you all can tell that I really like this house. In fact, I liked it so much that I invited my friend and popular YouTuber, Sarah Dici, to come check it out. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Dici, Rhymes with Peachy. Welcome to a NS video. I wish it was my house, it's so beautiful. I've been watching the videos for a year, two years, and I am just astounded by this property. It's so stunning, but it makes me feel like, more importantly, I'm in an NS video. I'm kind of fangirling right now. Ennis, what are you doing? Come on, you gotta, we gotta be, I, I gotta get a screenshot here. I wanted you to see this home in person. She's in town and I was yeah. like, you gotta come check it out. It's Owner was nice enough to uh, be okay with her coming and here we are, Infinity Edge Pool. And the finishes, I think that's like the views, okay, views, stunning. But the finishes of this home are absolutely gorgeous. It's one of a kind, I yeah. love it. Thanks for having me. Landing on the second floor is really special. Hardwood floors, ton of natural light coming in. Stonewall continues all the way to the third floor. And I say third floor because we actually have a rooftop deck that we're gonna see later. Skylights bring in natural light. Oak paneling to hide the staircase there that goes up to the rooftop. Chandelier in the center. Just a beautiful landing. Now, before we go to this wing, I actually wanna take everybody this way. We have this door here opening up to the first bedroom, full-size bed, bedside tables, hardwood floors. Room is very cozy, has these really unique angular lines. Then this hallway takes you to a full bathroom, travertine finishes, walk-in shower, you have your closet here. Definitely a good size bedroom. Now, before we leave this space, I wanna talk about an important architectural detail of this property. You can see that we have two massive windows here facing the front of the home. But if you look at the exterior facade, you can hardly see these windows. Those vertical metal screens do such a good job to hide the facade of this home and give this property a very stark feel. But at the same time, you can still have massive windows even though they're facing the street and maintain your privacy. And that's why I was really admiring the way they designed the exterior and how they brought so much functionality to the property. Now, let's go back to the landing. Another picture window, you can actually see the metal screens here. Going this way, we have the seating area for the landing. Comfortable couch, Eames chair, coffee table, sliding glass doors, open up this breezeway that's 
hidden behind the metal screens. You can probably place a TV here. Instead, they have this beautiful art, another art piece right here. I think CAP, Creative Art Partners, did the art staging and it looks fantastic. And this is the seating area for the landing. Now, follow me this way. We have two bedrooms on this wing. We're gonna start with this one. Off of the entry, we have the built-in closet with bronze handles. Then the hallway takes you to a full bathroom. First, let's talk about the vanity, travertine countertop, big reveal, fabricated sink, titanium fixtures. Love these mirrors with these bronze accents on each side, full sconces, and then we have the walk-in shower here. The travertine that's used on the floors and on the walls are exactly the same. The only difference is floors are filled travertine and walls are unfilled so you can see some of the imperfections. Now, that's it for the bathroom. Let's go back to the entry of the bedroom so we can check out the bedroom itself, full-size bed, another window bringing natural light, angular lines, hardwood floors. Then we have the sliding glass doors opening up to a balcony, amazing views of downtown Los Angeles. And yeah, this is the second bedroom. Now, let's go back to the landing. Right on the other side, we have the third bedroom. This one comes with a king size bed. Room is extremely spacious. We have the sliding glass doors here opening up to the balcony, shared with the bedroom on the other side. And if that wasn't enough, over here, we have a Juliet balcony that opens up to the same canyon and ocean views that the main floor is facing. I love the amount of natural light that comes to this bedroom. And this is the room that we can see off of the cobblestone driveway. This is the corner section of this property. Now, going back to the hallway, built-in cabinetry, full bathroom here, walk-in shower, gorgeous vanity, everything you need. Let's go back to the seating area on the second floor so we can check out the primary bedroom suite. This is the staircase that leads up to the rooftop deck. We're gonna tour that last and this pivot door here takes you to the primary bedroom. This room is very impressive. Floor to ceiling, sliding glass doors, open up to a private balcony that faces these amazing views. We got a glimpse of it on the lower level, but because we are floor above, these views open up a little bit more. We have the king size bed here, but first I wanna cover the seating area, two chairs, couch. It all faces the fireplace here. And because this house has angular lines, they brought a lot of these curved lines, curved cabinetry or these curved walls to soften up the spaces and give a little bit more warmth to the property. I love the reeded cabinetry here. And if you look at this curvature, you can see the bronze shelves, LED lighting, and all these tones coming together. Now, on the other side, we have the king size bed. This bed is custom. Frame is wrapped with suede leather, including this back wall. And I wanted to mention this detail because this is not a spec property, meaning this home wasn't built to sell. It was built for the owner. And all these materials, details, design, architecture, definitely shows that. And this is the custom bed. I love these light fixtures on each side. And now, follow me this way. So we can take this hallway here and check out the bathroom and the closet. I'm gonna start our tour with the closet. Beautiful island right in the center. Onyx countertop, onyx back wall, open shelving with LED lighting. And again, beautiful curved lines with the cabinetry here. All these drawers are leather wrapped. I mean, talking about attention to detail here. Then on each side, we have these sections with built-in cabinetry and they don't have the glass fronts yet. Like I mentioned earlier, they're still putting some of the finishing touches to this property. Walnut cabinetry, alabaster light fixture above, and you may think that's it for the closet, it's not. I'm actually gonna take everybody this way so we can check out the second closet. Island in the center, beautiful marble countertops, walnut cabinetry, and I can't get enough of these curves. I mean, look at the open shelving here. It's all leather wrapped, LED lighting, details of this home is stunning and we have another light fixture here now this is also not it for the walk-in closet because if you come here you have this beautiful dressing area built-in table mirror that runs to the ceiling with bronze accents wall sconces small sink here and if you follow me this way we also have a small wet bar fridge espresso maker sink some open shelving and you can discreetly close off this section to the wall as well. All right, now let's check out the primary bathroom. This is without a doubt my favorite room 
in this house. I'm really gonna take my time to cover all the details here. First, let's address this incredible travertine freestanding tub. Weighs around two tons, approximately 4,600 pounds, and it is massive. I'm gonna go in there to show the scale, but you can easily sit three to four people here and they would be very comfortable. You have your tub filler here and it just complements this bathroom so well because we have travertine pretty much throughout. It's way matched in the walk-in shower, which we're gonna see in a bit. Now let's cover the vanity. Travertine is used extensively both on the front and for the countertop as well as the back wall. If you look closely, can we get a close-up, Colin? The fronts here are unfilled and then it has the fluted finish. So you get this beautiful texture that contrasts really nicely with the polished countertops, two sinks. Then the back wall continues all the way to the ceiling, two mirrors, bronze accents on each side with LED lighting, just a beautiful vanity assembly. Now, let me take you all to the other side. I'm gonna go right in. Colin, come on in. Look at this walk-in shower. It's all vein matched. Massive rain has above, handheld fixtures, titanium finishes. This is a very impressive walk-in shower. And I love that ceiling is clad with travertine as well. So you have this uniformity, floors seamlessly transition into the shower. Just gorgeous. And if that wasn't enough, let me close the door. We have a hallway here, built-ins with LED lighting, two water closets. This is your bathroom. And I'm trying to think the last time we saw a stone carved freestanding tub like this. I think the last time we saw a tub this impressive was in Dubai in one of the properties that we toured. They had an onyx freestanding tub there. Now we're on the balcony, seamless transition to the outside. In fact, can we get a close up? Look how they incorporated travertine into the tracks of the sliding glass doors. These are motorized by the way. And then we have this amazing balcony, glass railing, lounging area, space heaters above. And I really like the planter here and how they incorporated that into the balcony. Sliding glass doors open up from the bedroom, another seating area, and more of these amazing views. With that, we're done on the second floor. Let's go upstairs so we can check out the rooftop deck. Another impressive level. Welcome to the rooftop deck, natural stone floors. Before we go to the back where we have the amazing views, I wanted to bring everybody here because that door right there opens up to the elevator landing, which means elevator comes up to the rooftop deck and we also have a full bathroom here. And I'll explain why we have a full bathroom in a second. Now, you have the outdoor staircase also coming up here. Around the corner, we have an amazing outdoor kitchen that is currently not complete. They're missing the countertop and few of the fixtures, but once it's all done, it'll be an amazing feature for the rooftop deck. Now I wanna take everybody this way so we can check out these amazing views. Glass railing throughout, Pacific Ocean right in front of us, all the way to Catalina. This is breathtaking, and this is your rooftop deck. We have an outdoor dining area here, bar is on this side. It is also missing the countertop, but it's an incredible space. You will put your future outdoor TV there, bar seating, and continuing this way, outdoor seating area, lounging area, another outdoor seating area here. But more importantly, if you go this way, this is your hot tub, which is amazing, nicely elevated. That way you can enjoy downtown Los Angeles views from your hot tub. That's the one up there. And yeah, incredible rooftop deck. I really like this house. In few words, I would summarize it as modern, timeless, and warm. And with that, we're done with our tour. And now, let's see this place at dusk. One of the top realtors in LA said something that stuck in my mind. He told me, Ori, I've been doing this for 26 years. I sold the best houses in LA. It's a jewel box. It's not a house. You build here something that people don't do. I look at this house as a piece of art. Every one of the people that worked here really care and really put their energy in it. And I think it shows. It will show the craftsmanship, the material, the quality 
two, five, ten years, and probably forever. It's a very unique home. This house is an expression of me. We really wanted to bring that feeling of organic to LA because we believe it's missing here. And I believe that the person that will live here will feel it every day. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Hope you'll enjoy this video. Design elements, architecture lines, finishes, details. This home is stunning. In fact, this has to be one of my favorite homes that we toured in the last few months. Now, I wanna congratulate the development team. They did a fantastic job. I also wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Brandon Williams, Rainey Williams, and Tyrone McKillen for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.